So we are going to start compare and contrast different information security rules. In this chapter, we are going to talk about different roles which are assigned to security for the security purpose and uh, we are going to compare them. We are going to look the roles and responsibilities these particular roles, these particular uh, role holders will be having. And from examination point of view also, it is very important to understand these kind of roles which is, uh, what are the roles required and what are their responsibilities. So we need to understand the basic roles in the information security roles. First of all, we have got the executive management. So the responsibility for the executive management is basically to uh, everything. We can say that overall responsibility is uh, their chief information security officer that is CISO, then chief technical officer, CTO, chief risk officer or chief security officer. These are, um, uh, they, they come under the executive management. And these executive level roles are basically, they are responsible for uh, overseeing the full enterprise information security strategy that is going to make sure that whatever the information assets are we are having in the organization they are properly protected so these are like for, for the executive management roles where we have got the ciso we have got cto we have got cro we have got cso so responsibility for these level like on the executive management under executive management we got ciso we have got cto we have got cro we have got cso and all of them are responsible for making sure that the enterprise information security strategy is properly implemented so that all the assets which are going to be used for the information are properly protected then we have got the security professional information system security professionals so uh, these are the people who will be more technical people and uh, they are going to they are mainly responsible for uh, creating the design uh, to implement to uh, manage and to uh, create the review for your organization security policies what will be the standard for the policy what, what will be the policies what will be the standard and what are the baselines and uh, what are the process and what are the guidelines they'll be looking for example we can say that uh, uh, your IT security manager uh, compliance manager IT security analyst uh, IT uh, risk ma uh, management manager these are uh, some of the uh, roles which falls under this uh, ISSP or your information system security professional. So these are some of the people who will be uh, working as a information system security professional. Their main responsibility will be to design, to implement, to manage and to review the policies and the standards and the baselines and the procedures and the guidelines of your organization. Then we have got data owners. So when we talk about data owners, we are talking about the people who are uh, like uh, uh, they they have got the budget. They the, they have, they are the budgetary authority basically. So data owner or information owner or system owners we can call them. So they have got the budgetary authority and they are mainly responsible to make sure that the appropriate security, which is consistent with your organization's policy security policy, is implemented in the information system. At the same time, they will be making sure that uh, the classification level or, I mean, they're going to uh, determine, they're going to define the sensitivity or the classification levels of the data. At, and then we can, uh, whatever the proper privileges has to be given, access privileges for the data, access privileges for the resources in your network will be assigned by the data owner. So mainly they are uh, data owners or information owner or the system owners they are known as the data owners and they have the budgetary authority and they are responsible for all these three things where they are going to uh, they are going to make sure you got the proper securities uh, is implemented they have got the uh, they will be determining the appropriate sensitivity or the classification levels for the resources and they will be responsible for to make sure that proper access privileges given Then we have got the data custodians. Data custodians are it's basically it's a function that is a custody of the system data as you can see. Now we can say for example your network administrators or operations 
right so they are uh, they will be known as the data custodians like uh, your system administrator we can say or the network administrators or your uh, database administrator so they are the custo they have got the uh, this particular function has the custody of the system database so it will be i mean uh, the data uh, data custodians are going to keep the data with them it means they are going to have the data with them they are responsible to make sure the data is secure as well at the same time so uh, your network administrator or system administrator or database administrator they will be falling under the criteria of data custodians then we have got users so when we talk about users users are basically they are responsible for uh, whatever the resources we are giving to them the normal users so whatever the resources we are giving to them they are using it and they are uh, they are using those resources when we talk about resources we are talking about all the assets including your hardware software application everything so they are responsible to use the resource at the same time they are responsible to make sure the availability integrity and confidentiality that is your cia of the asset is preserve at the same time they are also responsible to adhere this to the security policy so whatever the security policy has been created has been designed has been implemented the users will have to follow them the users are responsible for adhering they have to follow the they have to adhere the uh, security policy they have to follow the security policies then we have got the is auditors so when we talk about IS auditors, the IS auditors are mainly they are responsible to, uh, I mean, you the function of IS or information system auditors, uh, they are mainly responsible to make sure that uh, uh, all the security objectives are properly managed. And they are going to give this assurance to the management that uh, the security objects are properly, uh, it's uh, properly manage everything is in the place at the same time they are going to look at they are going to audit the policies the standard the baseline the procedures and whatever the guidelines are there so whether these prop uh, the policies and the uh, standards or the baseline the procedures or the guidelines are uh, effective to the organization policy are they complying with the organization security objects they will be auditing those things they'll be aud auditing those objects at the same time uh, they are going to look at uh, by creating these policies are these policies are actually uh, i mean these policies are actually getting whatever the objective is uh, behind our security uh, measurement we are taking or your organization is uh, uh, the objective of your organization is to make sure the assets or the resources are properly secure so the auditing the ice auditor information security auditors will identify that as well that the objectives and the controls are being achieved by these policies or not so these are the basic roles basic five uh, basic roles of uh, your uh, uh, your information security uh, management roles where we have got the executive management we have got the under executive management again i'm repeating we have got caso that is chief information security officer we've got cto that is chief technology officer cro Chief Risk Officer, CSO, Chief Security Officer. These are the uh, part of your executive management. And uh, uh, we have got information security professionals. Then we have got uh, 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 under information security uh, security professional, we have got uh, IT security managers. We have got IT risk management manager. We have got compliance manager. We have got IT security analysis, analyst. These are the different people who are working under the information security uh, professional system security professionals we have data owners so data owners are usually your system owners or uh, who have got the budgetary authority and then we have got the data custodians so usually your network administrator or the database owner database administrator or your system administrators they are the data custodians then the users the end users and uh, their main responsibility to follow the uh, policies security policies of the organizations and finally we got the auditors so auditors are basically they are going to audit all the uh, i mean they're going to give the assurance to the management that the proper security objects objective are, are getting achieved by all these uh, methods and the uh, practices which has been under them uh, which has been taken by the team so they're going to look after the policies the standard the baseline the procedure guideline everything here so these are the basic roles and uh, uh, we'll be covering next topic yeah, after this thank you